Avi's Barcelona side this season have been one of the most impressive teams in European football. They have 16 wins out of their last 18 games and they've conceded just 7 goals in the league entirely so far this season. And they are practically dominating every metric possible in the league of this season. Goals, XG, shots on target, goal conversion percentage, goals conceded against, XGA, PPDA which is just a fancy term for pressing, passes total and the least amount of shots and shots on target conceded. But just how is Xavi doing it? Well on paper Xavi sets up his Barca team in a 4-3-3 and for the most part in deep build-up, they do look to stay in this shape. But it can become somewhat of a 3-2-5 or a 3-2-2-3 in the possession phase. And there is somewhat of a wide left overload in this Barcelona side. They've got Frankie de Jong, who's operating in the left channel a bit deeper. Gavi, who's coming inside and playing in the left half space. They've got Balde or Alba holding the whip on the left. And then Robert Lewandowski naturally likes to drift over to the left to get involved in build-up play. And this is all to attract the opposition structure over to the left before switching it to the right to give his main Dembele 1v1 isolation scenarios, which is where he plays his best football. But in their attacking shape, Barcelona are pretty much looking to stretch the pitch and make it as wide as possible. They look to use a really comfortable ball playing goalkeeper in Marc-Andre Sestegen, who has been one of the best keepers in the world this season and I do think he's been quite underrated. But just ahead of him, they look to use a lopsided three at the back, which is where one side of the fullbacks advances or inverts infield and the other side of the fullback tucks inside alongside the centre halves instead of advancing or inverting into the midfield lines. And this is something that Pep Guardiola has done with Kyle Walker and something that Mikel Arteta has done with Ben Benjamin White and Jules Koundé in Xavi's Barca team is his Kyle Walker and Ben White. Xavi doesn't use his left back in the same way that Pep Guardiola and Mikel Arteta do. He doesn't bring his left back inside to operate as an inverted fullback or a midfielder at times. He uses Balde and Alba to their best attributes which is their pace, explosiveness, final third creation, crossing, chance creation as a whole and he wants to get them to that last line and he plays them pretty much as left wingers in possession. And sometimes this season we have actually seen Gavi being played as a left winger on paper and because the left back likes to get forward and advance into really high and wide positions, this gives the license for Gavi to come inside and operate more as just a left eight. And now we're starting to see the shades of a 3-2-2-3 under Xavi this season especially. And with the right positional rotations and suspension and pressure, we're now starting to see this box of a Frankie de Jong, Busquets, Pedri and Gavi ahead of the defensive three players and just below the three offensive players. It ensures constant passing lanes, constant options, constant rotation, constant circulation. And with this shape, Xavi is looking to maximise the use of Barca Barcelona's best technical players. And we can see this with his use as Gavi as a left winger because not only is Gavi a gravitational player and draws a lot of markers over to him just because of how brilliant he is on the ball, he's an extremely good counter presser. So when the ball is turned over in high and wide situations, Xavi wants Gavi as close to possession as possible because he is their best presser. Therefore, having him on the last line of offense can mean that they can force counter pressing or turnover scenarios whenever they really want. And Sergio Busquets, despite his age and despite him physically declining, is still an absolute joy to watch. His football and intelligence and pure technical elegance is so mesmerizing at times. And Frankie de Jong is the more mobile carrier of the ball and the more fluid turner out of higher pressing scenarios. But Sergio Busquets' understanding of rhythm and tempo and how to play in different game states can never go understated in a system that is so tactically complex like this one. And off the ball, Xavi looks to favour a 4-4-1-1 like we mentioned before. And Pedri is often the man who steps up out of the midfield to play just behind Lewandowski. And most of the time he's looking to cut the passing lane from the centre back into the number six. And whilst Barcelona are looking to clog the centre of the park, they look to then force the ball into wider areas. And if you think about it logically, when a left back or a right back gets in the ball, they have very minimal of the pitch to actually play into. When you think about a centre half or a number six having a full 360 degree angle, the left back and the right back don't even have a portion of that. So Xavi's Barca in a hole are structurally on and off the ball, one of the best in Europe for sure. And there's no doubt about that. And after a rocky start to life at Barcelona, it looks like he's seriously steadied the ship out. And it does look like Barcelona are once again back to their best.